Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. All right, so the questions that I'm going to be answering today have to do with nipple structure or nipple appearance in all genders. First question, is it normal to have one inverted nipple and one outy? Yeah, actually a significant portion of people have innies. So it's usually bilateral, meaning both sides, but it's also quite common to have just one also inverted. It's estimated that around 3% or so of individuals have an inverted nipple. Most of the time, it doesn't have any long-term consequences. It just means that your mammary tissue or the ducts are kind of pulling in that nipple a little bit tougher or stronger. Inverted nipples don't have a whole lot of consequence on function, generally speaking. For the most part, uh, you are, if you are a female and you wish to have a child and breastfeed, most of the time those nipples are still able to produce milk for the baby. Uh, sometimes there are severe cases of the nipple inversion being accompanied with some mammary duct uh, structural issues and breastfeeding is an issue, but for the most part they are totally functional nipples. They just go in instead of out, and that's okay. All right, um, question number two. Is it normal for nipple sizes to differ from one another? Yeah, it's, yeah, they totally can. So as someone goes through puberty, nipples are actually going to grow, and sometimes they can grow at different rates than the other, and that's okay. But the end product may still be different size nipples. One might be smaller and the other one might be larger. Sometimes the nipples don't even enlarge all that much, and that's okay. It really is more of a, an external genetic appearance of the nipple rather than a reflection of the function of the nipple, but it's totally fine if they look to be different sizes, if they're both small, if they're both very large, totally fine. <laughs> all right, next question. Why do I have a pimple on my nipple? So, let me show you something. Okay, so this is the nipple, and this is the surrounding darker skin, or the areola. It is quite common to have little bumps, or what look like pimples, on your areola. These are actually something called Montgomery glands. And what they do, their function is just to secrete some healthy oil that lubricates the nipple and the areola and keeps everything nice and healthy. Sometimes they can look like little pimples. That's not a problem, uh, but they're absolutely, totally normal. So, Montgomery glands. All right, question number four. Are tiny hairs growing on my boobs normal if I'm a girl? Yes, that can be absolutely normal, especially around the area of the areola. There are some hair follicles and they can produce hair. Not a big deal. You can pluck them, you can shave them, you can leave them alone. Nothing to be concerned about. Fifth question. My nipples are really small. Will this affect breastfeeding when I'm older? So this relates to the previous question as well about different size nipples, but small nipples are just fine. So here's also the thing, is that what you see in your breast before you have a baby is likely totally different than what you see in your breast after you have a baby. Your body transforms significantly in many ways when you have a child, including your breasts and your breast tissue and your nipples. So what you see now is likely going to be totally different when you have a baby. Don't worry about small nipples. If your breast tissue has come in and your nipples remain small, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Again, it has no relation to how successful breastfeeding will be for you in the future. 
they're just kind of what you were given and that's okay but nothing to worry about all right that does it for nipple talk and remember if you have a question for ask dr t you can either respond in this video or submit through my website askdrt.net